Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can trigger your camera and your Godox 8600 Pro flashes wirelessly and flash sync at the same time. So I got my 8600 Pro flashes a couple of weeks ago and I also bought this uh, X-Pro transmitter at the same time. And uh, the online store where I got this stuff uh, told me that you can also use the X-Pro as a remote for your camera if you buy X1RC, whatever, uh, this receiver here. So I did. The problem is that I can trigger the camera or the flashes or the camera and the flashes at the same time, but they don't sync. Let me show you. So I put this guy right here and Connect it to the front like that. Turn this guy on. You hear that? They don't sync. That's the problem. Sometimes they kind of sync, but the images I get from the camera, I don't know if you can see, are completely black. So the flashes are triggered, the camera is triggered, but they don't sync. But I found a solution. I did some digging in my camera bag and I found these guys. Uh, JYC JY110TX. These are like uh, eBay China uh, transmitters or whatever, universal stuff um, that I've had for seven or eight years maybe. So I thought, what the heck, let's give it a try. And this is how I set it up. So I put the X-Pro in the hot shoe of the camera, like that. And this guy will just be hanging for now because the X-Pro doesn't have a cold shoe on top. But um, face towards the flashes and they sync. This is the image I get now. So now you can see that the camera and the flashes are syncing. You can, of course, trigger only the flashes with the X-Pro. If you wanna use a light meter or something, just... So the reason I made this video was because I couldn't find a video on YouTube about it. The thing I wanted to do was to wirelessly trigger my camera with flash sync at the same time. And a setup like this comes in handy if you're working in the studio, if you're doing a like a compositing of some kind or working with splashes or liquids or whatever, then you want the camera in the exact same place the whole time between the different exposures. And then you put the different exposures together in post. Uh, because if you trigger the camera here, even though you have it mounted on a tripod, you move the camera just a little, little tiny bit. Then you have to do some alignment and stuff afterwards. But with this setup, you eliminate all that. Hope you like this video and find it useful. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.